Hi, my name is Nick Worrell and I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning Services. Today we're going to take a look at operating a Ferrofocus 3D laser scanner like this X330. The basic principles that we discuss here are going to be the same whether you're operating this X330, an S150, an S350, an M70, an S120, or really any of the focus uh, scanners that Ferro has out. First of all, we're going to assume that you've already put in the name of your project into the input screen and then told the scanner whether you're scanning, for instance, in indoor or outdoor. These are the two scan settings that we have programmed in our scanners when we send them out to our customers who rent them. Now, the scanner itself is going to be collecting data from the wide side of the scanner. The mirror is going to spin, the laser is going to be emitted this way. So as it turns, it's going to be collecting data all around it, 360 degrees. To stay out of the scan uh, uh, collection, you need to just, as an operator, stay either on the side where the input screen is or the opposite side. So as the scanner rotates clockwise, you would just simply move with it to stay out of the scan. Second, prior to hitting the start button, you want to make sure that the scan, we've got this freely spinning here, you would, you would tighten this down prior to actually beginning your scan. But you would like, ideally, to have the scanner positioned to where the data collection side is not already on top of the object that you're scanning. Let's say it's a vehicle. You want the vehicle to be out of the line of sight of the scanner to begin so that the scanner, when it begins to rotate, crosses over the item, such as a vehicle, and then comes around. This is because when the data is stitched together by the computer, there will be a line, a stitch line, uh, where the beginning and the end of the scanning, scan is. And you don't want, ideally, uh, that line where the beginning and end are stitched together by the computer to be on top of the actual object that you're scanning. If you're just simply scanning the inside of a building or a room, it's not really going to matter. But if you're scanning an object, you don't want the scanner to start the scan directly on it. You would like it, ideally, to begin and then sweep across it. Now we're going to take a look at the scan screen and what it looks like when it's operating properly. The scanner will make a loud tone and a red light will blink at the base of it while it's collecting laser data. In between collecting the data with the laser and collecting the data with the camera, there will be a, a period of time where the scanner is doing an exposure metering. It's just trying to determine the amount of light in the uh, area that's being scanned and should only take um, 30 minute, 30 seconds, maybe 60 seconds. Then it'll begin to collect uh, color data or camera data. And during that time, there will not be uh, any tone. It'll be silent. During this time, do not touch the scanner. Don't move the tripod. Just stay out of the way of the scan collection area and let it do its thing. As the scan time ends, you'll see the tone is going to go off and the scanner itself is going to give you a preview of the scan that was just collected. It's going to look like a black and white photograph. At that time, you can pick the tripod up, move the scanner to another location. Uh, you can adjust the scanner itself. You can go straight back to the home screen. You can change uh, the profiles if you'd like. It's not going to make any difference when collecting the data in the end. All these things can be done between scans. Again, do not touch the scanner or the tripod while it's collecting data, whether it's collecting the uh, photographs or the laser data. You don't ever want to nudge the, scan the, the camera, uh, the scanner. Uh, you don't want to uh, be too close to the tripod. You don't want to kick it accidentally with your foot. 
these are some of the basics when running the ferrofocus scanners in the field. If you have any questions, you can always email us at info at atlanticlaserscanning.com or call us at 800-955-3960. Uh, again, if you are looking to rent ferrofocus scanners or even the ISO certified handy scan units, please just give us a call or email us and we will schedule a time for you. Thank you and good luck.